Today is the day to make the vulture. Vultures are kind of cool animals, although for many people vultures are scary. So I guess they're kind of both. You're going to need your usual supplies, scissors, some sort of a glue, get to use our special pens today, and a trash tray. Okay, so I have already glued the V's up in the upper right hand corner of your gray rectangle. The um, fun fact at the bottom says vultures eat mainly dead animals. That means they don't go around and kill them on purpose. Vultures serve as nature's garbage collectors. And I guess one of the reasons why I think vultures are so amazing is not because vultures are so amazing, it's really because God has a plan for everything. So if an animal dies, you know, somebody doesn't come along, pick it up and go bury it, it gets eaten. So maybe it got killed by a lion, but the lion doesn't eat every all of it. And then the vultures come in and eat the rest of it. So it's just amazing to me to think about that God has a plan for everything. So you can see the pieces we're using. Um, we have, we're going to use the brown, large brown rectangle first, and then the black um, rectangle second. So I am going to clean these up off of our workspace, set them aside. I am going to put my black piece up at the top because that's what I'm going to be using next. And this is what I'm going to use first. Okay, this is a branch that the vulture is sitting on and we are going to cut all the sides with kind of a wavy cut so it looks like a branch and not a rectangle. So you can just kind of cut wavy cuts all the way around. Isn't that funny? I'm asking you to cut kind of crooked. Not every day your teacher asks you to cut crooked. Okay, and then we're going to glue it at the bottom of the paper just above the words. And I'm not going to glue it straight. I'm going to make it so it tilts up just a little bit. Okay, put some glue dots, maybe a couple extra, just so it will stay down in the middle. So I'm going to put it here and then just slightly pointing up a little bit. Okay, this is your vulture's body. Now we're going to do kind of some interesting cutting on this. So you're going to hold it in a vertical position and we're going to do just a regular two cuts off the top, okay? Um, magic cut those. So now it looks like you have kind of a, a hill, but now we're going to put a smile cut up here. Okay, so smile cut, remember it goes in, across, and then out. So, okay, and then I'm going to cut the two points off the top. If you've ever seen vultures, they kind of, they're really funny looking. Some of them can be really funny looking. I think that's why people think they're so scary, or one of the reasons why. Okay, this is the top. This is like his shoulders. So now we're going to cut this section here. Now I'm going to do two, I'm going to cut both corners but I'm not going to do it regular like we usually do. I'm going to come down the side and I am going to cut a long skinny triangle on both sides. I am not doing a house cut because I still want the bottom here. That's This part here is his tail. I'm going to cut my points off of both sides. But many vultures actually have, um, they're made very different because um, they are nature's garbage collectors and they have, many of them have bald heads. Okay, so we're going to glue this so it is on top of the branch in the middle of your paper. And remember I told you this is kind of like his shoulders and this is his tail. Okay, the next piece we're going to use is your white square. Mine does not look like a square very much, but white square and the second piece we're going to use is the long skinny red rectangle. So I'm going to set that up here. Okay, first thing we're going to do with this is we're going to cut all four corners 
and magic cut that. But, uh, yeah, and vultures have bald heads and bald necks because they stick their heads in when they're cleaning up the animals. They need to not have a bunch of stuff that gets stuck to their feathers. Okay, so this is called a neck ring. That means it's a ring that goes around the vulture's neck or a ring of feathers or something. So we're going to glue that, not up here, but kind of in the middle, a little ways down from the top. Okay, this is your vulture's neck, and this is where he starts to get kind of ugly. Um, we're going to cut all four sides and wavy cut, just like we did the brown, the brown branch. Um, but yeah, vultures can be really ugly looking, but I just am fascinated by them. Okay, so this is his neck. And remember I told you this is the neck ring. So I am going to glue this in the middle, so it's in the middle of the white, um, of the white neck ring. Yeah, vultures are very funny looking. Okay, so the next piece, we only have two pieces left to use, actually. We have our red square and we have a, an orange rectangle. So we're going to use the red square next. Now this is his head. We're going to cut all four corners like so and magic cut that. Like I said, this is his head. They don't have pointy heads. Okay, and I'm going to glue this to the end of his head. So I'm going to glue it right there. Yeah, they kind of have this stooped shoulder look. Okay, this piece, the long rectangle, is going to be his beak and his feet. So we are going to fold this in half, open it up, cut it on the fold. Now, I'm going to save part of it because I'm going to use that later and I am going to cut his beak now. Okay, so I'm going to hold it in a horizontal position and I am going to cut off only two corners. Magic cut that. Okay, now I'm going to flip that over so I am holding the part that I side I just cut and now I'm going to do another um, smile cut. So I'm going to, and this time I'm going to start at the corner and I'm trying to end at the corner. So I'm going to start at the corner, I'm going to cut it into the orange, I'm going to cut it across, and now I'm going to come out. So there's my beak. Kind of looks funny, but once it's on my vulture, it actually looks pretty good. Okay. Okay, now for the feet, our last piece. We're going to fold this in half because we're going to cut two feet at the same time. And I am going to only cut the top two corners like that. And I'm going to magic cut that. <coughs> Excuse me. And I'm going to open that up. And if it's still together when you're done, you're going to. Um, cut that apart and then we're going to glue these down where his feet would be. One on each side like that. Okay, so, ooh, a little too much glue there Mrs. Fullerton. Okay, so we're going to put an eye with your special pen and color that in. And then the last, oh, and then we're going to draw a line along the bottom part of the beak to the, to here, to show that that's like if he would open his mouth, that's where he would be opening his mouth. Maybe you might want to add just a nice little nostril there. Okay, and then you're going to add three lines on each foot to show where his talons would be. And we are done with our vulture except for the last thing is to write your name on the back.
Okay, good job. Hope you enjoy making your vulture.